Well, I don't know if this is going to work or not, but I think it probably will. I've never done it before, and you're going to see it along with me for the first time. Now, I've split this uh, piece of uh, plastic pipe. The idea is that I'll just use uh, tape, tape it up so, you know, the, uh, the uh, plastic tape so it's going to be waterproof or Envirotex proof. And then I'll pour degassed Envirotex down into this tube, probably till it's about that full. Then let's say I was to take and have turned this down so that it's round instead of square. And then put it down inside the tube. The, uh, this would be just slightly smaller than the tube, so inside of the tube, so the Envirotex should ooze up and completely cover whatever it is I put down in there. It, well, I, I wouldn't have them this long, by the way. And uh, then we'll see what happens. And then afterwards I can take a utility knife and just split the uh, seam, take a screwdriver, pound it in there. Hopefully it'll split open. But I'll probably have to put some kind of, I don't know, maybe PAM on the inside here. Now I don't know if that's going to react to the uh, Envirotex and sort of spoil the cure, but like I say, we'll see what happens. Uh, you're going to see it along with me for the first time, so uh, wish me luck. I cut another piece out of that old branch, and I turned it down so that it's oh maybe a sixteenth of an inch smaller than the inside diameter of that plastic tube. And uh, I'm hoping that this is going to work out now. Now as you can see, this uh, piece of wood is in pretty bad shape. There's a chunk missing out of the side, and then there's a pretty deep crack going about a third of the way into it. And it's going to be really interesting now to see how this is going to work out. Well, it's the next day, and I did go ahead and do what I showed you that I was going to do. I used this uh, vegetable oil to uh, grease the inside of this. And uh, right now the little blank is in there. The Envirotex is set up. It's not it's not real, real hard, but it's pretty hard. And uh, I degassed the uh, Enviro an ounce and a half of Envirotex. I degassed it first and then poured it into the tube and then put everything inside the vacuum chamber. And uh, then I lowered the uh, little blank into this using my uh, little lever system there that you saw in video number two. And then I put it into the pressure cooker afterwards and tried to squeeze a little bit more of the Envirotex into the, uh, into the blank. However, I've got a plan. And uh, it involves those four pieces that you see right there. And uh, there, it's going to be a prototype, see if it's actually going to work. Uh, but in the meantime, let's see if I can split this apart, see what it looks like. I'm going to have to wait a couple of days to let this rosin cure just a little bit more. It's still just a little bit on the soft side. Then I'll be able to drill a hole up the middle and turn it down and make a pen out of it. I'm anxious to see what it's going to look like. Now my plan is to make a little pressure pot that can withstand all the pressure that my air system is capable of delivering. In other words, a maximum of about 135 pounds. And I'm going to make a little prototype here. And uh, so far I've only got a little over $5 invested in it. If it looks like it's going to work, I'll just upscale it. Instead of using one inch pipe, I'll use one and a half inch pipe, or maybe two. 
Now, because I don't want the air to be rushing into this little chamber and possibly spraying my Envirotex all over the inside, I'm going to have to restrict the flow a little bit, so I'm just going to plug up this fitting here a little bit. No, that's not my smallest bit. My smallest bit is 21 thousandths of an inch, less than half that size.